everybody. Today we're going to be creating an artwork inspired by the artist Wayne Tebow. Wayne Tebow was a painter who created paintings of different kinds of sweets and desserts. He used repetition in his work, which means that he used repeating shapes, repeating pictures of different things in his work. So for example, you might see a painting by Tebow of plates and plates of pies and cakes or gumball machines or ice cream cones and he uses really light pale colors to create his artwork. We are going to be using repetition and we're going to draw four cupcakes that are going to be repeated on our own paper. I'm going to walk you through every step on how to draw them. The supplies you'll need for this project are a white piece of paper, a pencil to draw with, and something to color with. That can be crayons, markers, colored pencils, anything that you have at home. Gather your supplies and we'll be ready to get started. Okay, I've gathered my supplies. I have my white piece of paper. I've got some markers to color with and a pencil to draw with. Now, Wayne Tebow created repetition in his work. That means he repeated things a lot. So we're going to be drawing four cupcakes on our paper. So first step is we're gonna take our paper and we're gonna fold one side over to meet the other side. I'm gonna open my paper up and then I'm gonna fold the top down to meet the bottom. and open my paper back up. Now inside of each one of these, I'm gonna draw different kinds of cupcakes. So for my first step, I'm going to draw the diagonal sides of the cupcake wrapper, like that. And then I'm gonna draw a curved bottom to make it look like it's a little bit more 3D. And then across the top, I'm gonna to draw a bumpy line. And that's gonna be my cupcake wrapper. Now I'll go uh, I'll add some details in when it's time to color. So I'm going to make some icing um, on the top of this cupcake. So I'm gonna start at the side and I'm gonna do a curved line, like kind of like a, um, almost like an oval shape that goes from one side of the cupcake wrapper to the other. Now as I go up, I want it to kind of come up to a point. So I'm gonna make this, uh, this next one not be quite as wide. And then I'm going to do kind of a kind of a um, pointed top. There's one cupcake. Now um, I'm going to draw another kind. So I'm going to do a the two lines to the side of the cupcake wrapper and a curved bottom. Now on this one I'm going to make it have a zigzag top of the wrapper, like that. And then I'm going to draw for this kind of um, icing. I'm going to do first an S line. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to make it S line like that. And then I'm going to come here and come back like that. It makes it kind of like it's kind of a pointy top on the icing. Now remember, if any time you need to pause to catch up, you can. Or if you need to go back and uh, watch again, you can always do that. Now on this next one, I'm going to do a little bit different. Instead of making diagonal sides, I'm going to make straight sides down. And then I'm going to do a curved line for the bottom. And I'm going to make a big zigzag line on this one. Like that. And then um, for this one, I'm going to um, make kind of a rounded top that's kind of got a bumpy line like that. And I could even put something like a cherry if I wanted to on here like that. Okay, and I've got one more cupcake I'm going to make. And, oh, I've got a friend coming to visit. Come on, buddy. Sorry about that, that was my uh, cat Soren wanting to come visit us. Okay, so then I'm going to do a bumpy line, um, kind of a big bumpy line here like this. Okay, now for the next icing, this one's gonna be a little bit tougher. So if you need to pause or go back to watch, you can do that. It's gonna be kind of similar to this one, but we're gonna add some extra bumps. So I'm gonna start right here. I'm gonna go make a kind of a bump like that. And another one like that. Now I'm gonna go backwards and make like a backwards C. Okay, and then I'm gonna make a bump like that and a bump like that. 
All right, so now I've got my cupcakes drawn. I'm ready to color them in. You can use whatever supplies that you have at home. I'm going to use markers to color mine in, but you, like I said, you can use whatever supplies that you have at your house. You could even combine and use markers and crayons together, whatever works best for you. So um, I'm going to color in the wrapper first. Now, this next step is totally optional. It's up to you if you want to do this. You can use either a black marker or a Sharpie. And I'm going to outline just so that way you can kind of see things a little bit better. And I'm going to draw lines down like this. Now I'm going to color in my icing. I'm going to do these different colors, I think. So different layers, different colors. And I'm going to use my Sharpie to outline. And you can actually do the step before or after you color in. It's up to you. If you're using a washable black marker, I would do it after you color in your colors. Now, I'm going to choose a different color I haven't used, and I think it might be a good idea for me to choose a light color because I've been using a lot of kind of darker colors. So I'm going to choose a light color, and I'm going to color in the background. Now, I'm going to stay inside of my folded line. So I'm going to go ahead and outline that first so I know where to stop. There, so I'm not going to go beyond those two lines right there, and I'm going to color in the background now. Okay, so now I've got my background colored in. Um, I'm ready to do the other one. So before I color, I am going to outline the rest of my pencil lines with a Sharpie. Um, and then I'm going to color in, and I'm going to show you what it looks like when it's all finished. Okay, I've finished coloring my Wayne Tebow inspired cupcake picture. We used repetition. We repeated our elements. We repeated cupcakes. And I hope you enjoyed creating this artwork and had a lot of fun doing it. And I can't wait to see everybody's creations. Bye.